tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hi there. Many years ago, when I was still in a learning phase, learning Maya at that time, I got a call from the distributor of Maya in Germany uh, who asked me if I could help a startup company, a multimedia company as it was called then in Cologne, because they have a problem. And I said, I'm only learning Maya, so I'm, I doubt if I can help them. Anyway, I walked there and um, they had a problem. They had an, an object in the scene. It wasn't certainly not this boot here because this boot is pretty recent. Uh, I got it from, by the way, from Turbo Squid. It's a photo scanned female ankle boot or whatever. Uh, very nicely made. Actually, I did a tutorial about depth of field using this boot here. But anyway, uh, they had that uh, object of any, ki any kind. I don't remember what it was in the scene. It was long before the Arnold time, really, and the, and the mental ray time. Uh, and they couldn't, when they rendered it, they couldn't see anything because the scene was black. So I asked them, do you have a light in the scene? And they said, yes, we have a very, very strong spotlight in the scene. And... Um, I simulated this here. I have a spotlight in the scene which has uh, just standard attributes, intensity 1. I can crank this up to 100 and render it again. And I still don't see anything. So I said, where is your light? Well, we don't know. We don't see it anywhere. And so we looked around for that light. And it certainly is nowhere. Where is that spotlight here? And uh, it's it's gone. And the trick is to actually select it here in the outliner and then probably hover the mouse over here and press the key F. And here is the spotlight. But once we see that spotlight, where is our boot? Where is the geometry? We don't see it. And uh, actually the... I resolved that, that problem because it was about a million units away from the uh, center of the scene and the, the, the problem could be solved easily by just uh, turning these translation un attributes um, to a more decent value. And here is the light. This makes sense and when I render it now it looks pretty dark, but it's rendering that scene. These people in Cologne were extremely happy about me pressing the key F and telling them what, how far away their spotlight was. Anyway, I want to tell you something else. Why didn't we see the spotlight in the first place? And that has to do with the so-called clipping plane. Uh, and the clipping plane is not a general thing which you find here under Windows General Preferences, uh, etc. But you find it under the camera itself. We need to select the camera for that. And there are two ways to do this. Select it here. Or select it here. Select the camera. And now we selected the camera. We have the camera attributes here in the attribute editor and the interesting thing is in the perspective shape we see a near clip plane and a far clip plane and that's what this whole thing is about the far clip plane is the interesting value here it basically prevents Maya from rendering objects which are very very far away it just ignores these objects so uh, the far clip plane is set to 10,000 units that means the whole scene can be that big 10,000 units, but um, uh, behind that, Maya will just ignore them. So let's duplicate the boot and move the boot, the duplicate, which is this one, boot number one, we'll move it uh, very far away, like translation in Z, that would be this direction. Uh, let's translate it in 
by 1000 units. So this is the first boot and the second boot is somewhere there. And we actually do see it when we select both of them and press F. Uh, we see the first boot there and the second one there. It's very far away so uh, we do still see it. Now let's select it again and change this to 20,000. And now when we select both of them and press F, we don't see them. The boot in the center of the scene is here and the other one is so far away that we have the clipping plane happening. Now let's animate that boot so it comes back into our scene. Uh, beginning of the animation we set the translation, set a keyframe, that's the right mouse button and uh, only a keyframe for, for the translate X. And now we get uh, closer, uh, 120 frames and we set the translation 5. So it's not on top of the other one, you see it's right here, it's uh, right next to the other one and I set a keyframe here. Now let's have a look what's happening in the scene. Uh, when we go a little bit back, this is the way the, the boot moves. And here we, let me change the background color, Alt B. And now let's see where it enters the scene. Okay, it shoots in from the, from the back there. But here you see the point where it actually disappears because it's selected and we we see it right here and here it disappears. Here it reappears and here it disappears. The distance is a little bit more, a little bit over 10,000. That's why it disappears here. Let's make this boot bigger. Scale 100 by 100 by 100. Does it change anything? Well, we have a gigantic boot here. It's so big and now you see how it disappears when the backward part, one which is um, not showing towards the camera, is beyond that 10,000 units range. And when we go back in the animation it totally disappears and here it reappears part, part, partly. So this effect is often irritating if you don't know what it's about. And when you go back to the camera here and to perspective shape in this case and change that far clip plane to from 10,000 to 100,000, you all of a sudden see that whole boot. When you move the camera away, the boot disappears again because it's so big and because the far clip plane is not 1 million, it's only 100,000. 1,000, or let's say 100 as the far clip plane. And now we go to the boot number one and press F. So we're close to our first boot. And now you see the far clip is so close that we see only parts of our first boot. And this is interesting if you have certain scenes where you have other things happening there which are not important for this special rendering you just can make them sort of disappear. You can also work with layers obviously but uh, the far clip and cl um, near clip options are for making the scene a little bit leaner and things which are too far away from us will be just ignored. Have a nice day. Bye bye.